welcome. Come in, have a seat. Okay. Relax. I'm ready whenever. Um, I thought this is where the interview would be. It is. Oh, I thought there would be like a green screen or something, you know, like seeing celebrity interviews, something like that. Um, low budget. What is this? Y your mic. Oh, but well, why are you taping it? I can make you hold it the entire interview. There's not like a clip or something? Like I said, low budget. I'm Eliza the Powerful Feminist and I want to change the world. Uh, the name is a work in progress. I fight for women's rights. I'm a strong feminist. I believe that there's this huge gap between men and women and we need to close it. See this W? It stands for women. Because women are powerful and I'm going to fight for them. I thought that was the Wonder Woman's logo. People don't take me seriously. Men don't take me seriously, but fuck them. They have all the privilege in the world and they don't realize how stupid they are. Women are smarter. Girls, don't let anyone bring you down. We are in this together. Women are incredible human beings. That's all. Something I don't usually tell people is that I'm bisexual. You know, there's actually a lot of stigma around bisexuality that I don't really understand, but a lot of people believe. You know, like, bisexuals are polyamorous, or we like to have threesomes, or we like girls more than guys, or we like guys more than girls. But to set the record straight, I choose to be monogamous. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being poly. I just like only one person at a time, you know? I like whoever I like at the time. Feminists have it hard too. People don't really know that. People think we're insane. Apparently we're crazy for being proud women and wanting others to feel the same way. I just don't understand that. I mean, most of us just want to support each other and remove the gap between men and women. We want to be equals in the things that matter, you know? We want to have equal pay and equal opportunities. Is that so crazy to ask for? Okay, I have something to educate everyone about, about the whole gender and identity thing. I know it's confusing, but let me break it down for you. So here we have the gender bread person. People can identify in four different ways. Identity, attraction, expression, and sex. All of these are on a spectrum. So biological sex, this is what you're born with per se. So you can be born a male, female, intersex, etc. Your gender identity is the way you identify. So if you identify as a man, a woman, neither, both. Your gender expression is the way that you express that identity. You know, in a more masculine or feminine way. Usually in the way you dress, the way you act, you know. Attraction, both sexual and romantic. You can be attracted to men, women, neither, both, anywhere in between. All of these, you can jump around the spectrum all throughout your life or you can stay still. Simple, right? I think it's important to learn about the different ways people, including myself, can identify and express themselves. See, I identify as a woman, I use she, her pronouns, but everyone should know about these things, you know, and everyone should continue to learn about them. It's important when you come across someone who identifies a certain way to understand them. It's a learning process. People should teach this. Schools should teach this. I want to go to a school to teach this. Can I? Okay, kids, I know, I know, it's super cool having a real-life superhero in your class. Tell your friends and family. But I wish I could be with you guys all in person, but today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys about the genderbred person. Yay! Greatest moment of my life. Start young, work your way up. Oh, the kids were great. I didn't know they knew so much already. I mean, what are they watching these days? I need to show people what they're seeing. It was a really different experience than talking to adults. Kids really do ask the tough questions. They wanted to know what I identified as so that they didn't misgender me and all that. It was really cute. I'm a famous icon of feminism and bisexuality. Or a bicon. Is that what they call it? I think I heard that somewhere. I used to not believe in feminism. And whoever doesn't support or just disagrees with feminism, we need to talk. If you disagree with feminism, you're just sexist. Yeah, so I used to not believe in feminism. I didn't support it. I used to be homophobic too, but I was young and naive and I didn't know any better than what people told me. Before I was a superhero, I used to work at this place, and I had this coworker, this guy, I hated him. He used to mansplain things and take all my ideas as his own, and I just let him. I let him walk all over me because I was uneducated about my ability to fight, but that's why I'm here today, to fight. 
It brings me the most joy to fight for other people. I mean, not fight their fight, but give them the courage to. I think that's really important. It makes me really happy to give someone else a chance like that instead of coming in, fighting bad guys and saving the world. This is the way that I'm saving the world. Oh, can I make a cool entrance? You know, like, come in in slow motion, the wind blowing through my hair, and, you know, making me look really powerful. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs>